Let's go. I feel like I'm murder here. <gasps> this is the most excited I've been. This is so good. Ice cream secure. Good morning. This is not the most attractive angle to be waking up from, but oh whoa, no abs. But your girl is going to New York today. Beautiful day. Oh my god, I'm just in my underwear. But the reason why I'm going to New York is because I'm going for a work trip. I'll explain a little bit more as to what the work trip is because I'm kind of in a rush right now. I just need to clean the house a little bit. I also need to finish packing. It's my first time in New York, so I'm super, super excited. I've always wanted to go to New York. I've been wanting to go since fifth grade because i did one class project on it like we all had to choose a state and do a project on it and i chose new york and ever since i've been wanting to go and the two times that i've tried has not worked out so i'm just really happy that i got invited on this work trip and it was like super unexpected um so yeah i'm just so excited okay so i know i'm going to the airport and you know usually people dress down for the airport or they just like become really lazy but I just kind of like want to put on a little bit of makeup to feel more awake. I don't know, makeup just makes me feel a little bit more put together. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And I have all my makeup packed in here, super convenient. And the best thing is the this brush holder, this part right here, it detaches. So um, I'm just going to explain a little bit as to why I'm going to New York for work. But basically my company is an entertainment company, but they lately they've been dabbling or ever since 2019, they've been dabbling into um nft metaverse and all that stuff but still within the music slash entertainment industry um so for the work trip they are co-hosting the chamadichi nft new york party and chamadichi is basically like snoop dogg's second son's web3 alias and there's this really big event happening in new york this week called nft ny and basically is just where all the nft projects companies all come together our company, along with a few other companies, are co-hosting this like pre-game party to the entire week. So yeah, that's what I've also been working on. I've been really, really busy. Um, so I'm really excited. I get to be in New York for a week. Makeup is done. Just gonna pop in. a spray on a little bit of my thick dry shampoo. I'm telling you, ever since I discovered this dry shampoo, I freaking love it. It just takes up all the oil. So good. I'm gonna take you guys to come pack with me. So let's grab all our stuff. Let's go. Currently only 9 a.m. and all I need to do is honestly just pack. So I'm doing great on time. So I have more time to show you guys what I'm packing. I'm just gonna bring a small suitcase like this. It's not gonna be a carry-on, it's gonna be a check-in just because I have a lot of like makeup stuff and skincare stuff that obviously is over the travel size limit okay so i'm going to like these parties but i don't really know what the attire is so i just brought a range of dresses they are kind of like clubby slash they could be more i guess not clubby if i need them to be and then out of all the black ones i have one blue one this is one i got recently Ooh. and then these are just my casual outfits because new york is like probably super hot right now so i just brought a lot of lighter things and i brought a pair of slacks because i don't know like again what the attire is so i was like okay if anything i could always just wear slacks it's like dress up or dress down bra skirt this is all my like underwear bras and stuff i love packing in these things because it just makes packing so much easier all you have to do is this put it in and this is all my makeup and because these items are a little bit more like bulky or I can't fit them anywhere so usually I just put them in on the side like so I'm bringing this for my ear if you guys watched my last vlog maybe that last two vlog that I have like a earring stuck in my ear I just clean it on a daily basis twice a day to make sure that it doesn't get infected and it's been doing really well you know this is just my like toiletries and stuff and I forgot to pack these tops at first but I'm just gonna stuff it in here for now it's just a black top and then this is just a casual kind of like sports bra top that I could wear and then I always bring this towel. This is for my hair to dry my hair. It just makes drying my hair so much faster because I usually air dry. So then on the side over here, I do a dirty, dirty laundry bag. And then just two extra bags for, I don't know, anything that I need to put in. And that's packing done. Woo! Holy crap, it is so crowded at the airport. So I have TSA pre-check, so I'm able to like go by faster, but look at that line. 
that's crazy. I've never seen it so crowded as SFO, but maybe because today's Saturday and it's Father's Day. I love the water here because it's so cold and refreshing. So apparently it's a full flight today and I'm like right in the middle seat for six hours. Also got gummy worms. I am boarding the plane to a new Oh, I'm so excited. I'm actually like really, really nervous because I've never been to New York like ever. And I'm kind of like nervous to take a subway, but I'm so excited. Wow, you guys are in New York. There's nothing at the airport that screams New York so far, but I also for the taxis actually. There's like a bunch of taxis coming. That screams New York. It's actually like pretty freaking chilly. I only packed summer clothes, but I guess at night it gets really cold. Like, do you see the wind? It kind of feels like a sub, not gonna lie. Hello! I actually made it to the hotel about two, three hours ago, but I met my team here and we were just working for a little bit. And it's currently almost 2 a.m which is really late to work but it's literally only this week because like i said we have this really big event but i'll show you guys the hotel room i have the whole room to myself Woo! okay first of all shoes off because it's an asian hotel room up in here but over here at the door we have the closet which i will need to put my dresses in so there's no wrinkles i personally love the wall because it just shows you i think these are subway stations it shows you all the stops um so over here they have the brooklyn part over here is manhattan so i just love it because it screams new york to me bathrooms over here is so nice it's a nice bathtub and it's a nice mirror do i have any view no nah, my view is just an office space nothing much to be shown and then over here is my bed it's a nice bed and i love this little area it's like a little deck area that's so cool <gasps> Oh my god, I could go outside. Wow! <gasps> this is so cool! But this is also really scary. I feel like I'm murdered here. Like, that was a moment where it was like cool, and then once reality hit me, I was like, wait, that's kind of scary. I should not be out here by myself at this moment. I have a fat mirror here. I love this mirror. Oh my god. And a TV and a little working area. Okay, I'm actually like ready to go to bed now because I have a long day tomorrow and I really hope I can vlog more of it. We'll see how it goes. Hello vlog. So currently I am at the Marquee nightclub. It is like four hours into the event. So we're just here to set up to make sure everything's gonna run smoothly. I just can't wait for this night to be over because I'm so tired. I've been like, oh, I slept at four hours and I woke up at eight today. So I just want this party to be over. So currently they're all setting up the tables and stuff. These are all the VIP tables. They're bringing out the alcohol. This is the stage, the DJ will be here. And then upstairs are also all tables. It's all for the VIPs. I'm pretty stressed right now because I have to make sure this one thing goes right. Like I have to make sure it goes right, but the person who's in charge of it is not here and is already eight or one hour away. And I'm like stressing, like where is he? And then over here, we have a customized drink menu. So my company is NSFG. It's a margarita. Back to the hotel room is currently like 2 a.m. But I just want to show you guys my OOTD for the day because it was definitely not club attire. This is literally what I wore at the party today. Like, oh my god, this thing wasn't even on. This is like a waitress. But I can't believe I wore this for the entire club. So now I'm eating like dinner. It's 3 a.m. I'm not gonna finish it, but I just want something in my stomach because I haven't eaten all day. Finishing off with 17. Hello, I'm popping on again, but basically in one clip, I'll insert it. I was literally like this close to Snoop Dogg's son. Part of me just can't believe that this is actually my job. Like obviously, 
I've worked really hard for the past week slash week and a half and definitely it's a lot more faster paced at, at this environment but I definitely don't mind it because I get to do really really cool things and it's just like really feels really nice to be taking a step towards the career that I really want to pursue. I just thought that even though I already gave my goodbyes. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. Actually, it's not a good morning. It's like 4 p.m. <laughs> it's 4 p.m. in the afternoon, but I just have not vlogged anything because I just been chilling in my hotel room catching up some sleep. I also uploaded a podcast for this week. But on other notes, I'm literally bouncing you guys off of four to-go boxes because there's nothing else to bounce you guys on or like to raise the tripod up but i am currently going to get ready uh, because i'm actually meeting up with someone really cool for uh dinner today you guys will see my vlog later i'm super excited I'm like we are finally meeting in person so i'm like oh it's gonna be fun i'm meeting her at six um, so I'm just gonna get ready now because I have a feeling that if I keep lagging, I'm gonna end up totally missing everything. So I'm just gonna get ready now. I love bathroom. Like hotel bathrooms. It's always such good lighting. Just look at the difference of my lashes. Like this one is so much longer. I love this mascara. I think this kind of was talked about on TikTok for a little bit, but this is a 3CE Super Slim Waterproof Mascara. And it has such a small wand like this, so it really gets... Is it gonna focus? So it really gets into like the bottom and the top of your lashes. So I do this on the first layer to really just like elongate everything. And then I like it a little bit like fluffy or a little bit clump. So then I use this really fat wand. This is the L'Oreal Paradise one. And I just been loving this combo. Okay, this is my outfit. I'm going to be wearing this kind of black, um, just a very casual little black dress. Pairing it over with this white button up. I think it's so cute, so casual. I'm just a pair of some good old Air Forces. Definitely not these shoes. Also, I totally realized, I didn't even tell you guys I finished my makeup, but I just basically put on some lashes and this is the way that I've been doing it. I cut up a one individual lash and then just take bits and pieces and put underneath it. I personally love this method a lot more because it just looks more natural. It gives me that extra length that I want without being too heavy as a regular strip lash. Put my perfume on. Today I'm wearing the... This is the only one I brought because it's travel size. I didn't want to bring a bigger one. But this is the one I'm using. It's a Giorgio Armani Aqua di Gioia. I have successfully taken my first ever subway in New York. City girl, woo! Hi vlog! So earlier I said I'm very excited to meet someone and here she is! Hi! <laughs> if she looks familiar, that's because that's Hannah from Bagogi Podcast! Yeah. <laughs> so I can't believe I'm from SF, she's from LA, and of all places we meet in New York because we're both in like the NFT industry. Yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, women in Web3, let's go! <laughs> and then we came to this place called Rice Kitchen, it's like Korean food, and then we got tofu, rice, something, and we got kimbap, and we got this lemonade, it is so good, it's so bomb. good. It's like actually bomb. So me and my co-worker, are here at another event for tonight. I'm kind of excited. It looks pretty cool. Currently in line to go in. In case you can't tell, it's 3D. Okay, I got free stickers. So cute. And they're also here. It's crazy. It's mind bending shit. The next day. Good morning, vlog. I'm so tired. Good morning vlog! I know I said good morning, but now I'm actually awake. I have my makeup on and I have my outfit ready to go. I don't know about you guys, I feel like I always look at myself in the mirror. I'm like, oh my god, it looks good. But when I look at myself on camera, it looks different. Like, I thought this looked really good, but then now I'm here, I'm like, why does my forehead look so big? Okay, anyways, let me show you my OOTD for today. I've been wearing this dress shirt for a third time this week, but it's just so nice and so easy to like wear, but it's Korea. And then this is just kind of like a sports bra top kind of from Gilly Hicks slash Hollister that I'm just wearing my slacks. And I'm wearing Air Forces, of course. The weather is literally so nice in New York. Like this is so nice. It's kind of cloudy, um, but it's not super hot. It's like perfect for this kind of outfit. So I freaking love it. Hello. So I'm currently at a place called Best Bagel um, Place. It has like 3,000 reviews. Like it's super popping in here. But the good thing is everything is um, super fast. So I got my order within like five minutes. 
and I also got coffee because homegirl is really, really, really tired. I'll just show you guys. Oh my god, this is so fat. This is so fat. Oh my god. This looks so good. I got a lox bagel. Lox is my favorite bagel ever. I got an onion bagel and then with lettuce and tomato. Oh, they give so much lox here. That's crazy. I love that. I cannot finish this other half. I'm so full. It's so fat. So I'm here at other NFT event, party event. I have no idea which one this is, but they have this like big basketball right there. So I'm here at Hannah's event. This is the company she works at, Noodles. This is so cute. Did you design it? No. Oh, <laughs> I no. love the toe. Hey, it's a school bus from earlier. They're here. Oh, snap. What's up vlog? So I just came back and I had to book a new hotel because the other one that I was staying at it was really expensive to extend another night so I just we just booked another one so I just got here and I'm so tired that coffee that I drank was so strong oh my god I didn't drink enough water so I just had like a major headache and then I was just like talking to a lot of people which was really fun like even though it's networking it literally just feels like I'm talking to like friends or like making um making friends and stuff so it was just like really fun oh i'll show you guys the hotel really quick actually here i am at the door um this is coming oh these are cute it's little coat hangers but it's like so cute so adorable mirror uh, i really want a full-length mirror in my room oops this is unzip um here's the bathroom definitely a lot smaller and then here's kind of like the um bed and area the view is definitely not as great. All I see are buildings. So I took a nap because I was dead tired and then it started raining. I should stop vlogging from this angle because it gives me a double chin. I need to vlog from this angle, you know? And this hair that's stuck on my eyelash. <laughs> so I got my ticket. It's this one over here. And look at the view. It's got a rooftop. I love it. I love rooftop. I got my first ever New York stand hot dog. I mean, just a plain hot dog. I actually w really wanted the gyro, but then <laughs> it's cash only. So I have enough cash. So this is the best I can do. And I'm like starving right now. Just like a regular hot dog. <laughs> actually, now that I taste it more, meat or the sausage doesn't taste as like fake. Like the meat is softer. It's not as like plasticky or chewy. These lashes. Right over this one looks really good today. Like I love the way it turned out, but this one totally wet crap. Wow, that's actually so precise. I think that's a taco truck, and these are oh my god, I'm scared. This is so cute. Hello, good morning world. Um, so I'm currently walking to Madison Square Park to meet with my manager for this one event and then on the way here when I was walking crossing the streets like crossing the crossroad um I almost stepped into the dead body of a pigeon I literally just like like my heart literally just skipped a beat like I saw something on the ground I almost stepped in it and I was like oh my god those are feathers it's like a really flattened pigeon I'm getting my first hala food food truck I got the lamb over rice so excited Korea has really prepared me to like just do whatever I want in public because why not? So I'm gonna put my perfume on that I forgot to put on this morning because I was rushing out the door. She he gave me a lot of white sauce, like a little too much. Ooh, that's good. Definitely should have gone water. The hot sauce is a lot spicier than I thought. Oh god. I hope I don't choke. My manager got an omelet and I just got mixed berry tarts because homegirl already ate my halal food. Looks so pretty. We are currently at the Cool Cat exhibit and it has this like really cool truck outside too. Oh, this is so cute. <gasps> oh my god, oh my the kittens are so cute. <laughs> wow, this is so cute. It's like a whole wristband. I'm for sure I keep this. Uh, so we gotta wait a little bit. It's about like 45 minutes. But this is basically an NFT project and the art they do are like cats kind of. It's cute. The line is so long. Thank goodness my co-worker's husband was waiting in line so we got to skip like half of it probably because it's about an hour so I think we just have to wait for 30 more minutes. <laughs> this 
place is so cute. It's basically just like an exhibit based on the NFT project, but there's also like interactive activities you can do. There's also a merch line over there. So when you scan these, oh. Um, everyone be trading their points for our merch. Yeah, no homegirl is gonna trade my points for some food. Let's see what we're getting. Alright. You have 1400 milk points. Ice cream secure! I'm really excited to eat this too because it's from the milk bar and I think it's like the famous milk bar um, cake place or like dessert place. Oh, it's mint taco, by the way. This is also a generous scoop, like a single scoop. Wow, this was the most excited I've been at this entire exhibition or like this entire thing because I just really wanted food. If I could get 200 more points, I could get more food. More points for more food. This is the panna cotta. It's called a bubbling berry panna cotta. Good. So I'm done with the exhibit. They give you this as a little goodbye gift. So cute. Wow, you guys, I'm in Times Square. That was a horrible thing, but oh my god, the NASDAQ billboard, all these billboards. This is honestly so cool seeing it in person. And this is like the famous kind of, I guess, billboard? I am literally so happy right now obviously I wish I was here with friends and stuff but wow this is close enough like all these lights makes me so happy I'm heading back to the hotel right now and then getting my stuff and then we're gonna head over to the next hotel the last hotel for this trip before I fly back tomorrow you guys I was literally like on my way to the event and I got the location wrong so I was like okay oh, hey, I'm going to um, go to the actual event location, but my stomach started hurting so bad. And then now I'm running back to the hotel because I'm literally about to fucking my pants. Like, holy crap. It hurts so bad. Currently, I am at this bakery. It's called Takahachi Bakery, and it's like a Japanese bakery. So cute. Wow, these looks delicious. This is the cold section. Everything looks so good. I don't know if I'm just hungry. So I took the train here because I was scared of traffic because at least the train, like, I could have it in my control that I know exactly when it's gonna arrive. I got here right on time. They're boarding group B and I'm group B. So everything worked out great. So excited to eat some of my bread on board.